Zachy. Hello. Oh, oh, that sounds hello. good. Hi. Oh, that sounds good. Zach, Hi, say, guys. say something to your microphone. Hello, hello, hello. Whoa, oh, I love it. Yeah. That sounds really good. Sir, you have a wonderful voice. Have you ever thought about singing in a band, maybe? Writing music and it's performing never, live? It's never crossed my mind. No? No? I, I think you should just consider it. We'll explore it after Yeah, just the show. one day. You should probably one day. That. We we try to you know we try to help people realize their their potential mm -hmm. at yeah. least try new things, and uh, I think I, I think you might I'm just saying I think you might have it in the music business, my man. Hey man, it may be a conflicting idea, but Ooh. you've got motive. Definitely got the motive. <laughs> the motive is most certainly All there. The puns are coming. What's up, everybody? Right. Good to see you, and welcome to Wednesday night. My name is Billy Floyd, and that I'm is Commodore. That's right, baby. We're the Kitchen Killers from Orlando, Florida, coming to you live on this Hump Day, baby. Brian Wensloff and Richard Patatuchu's favorite day, and we are joined by the one, the only, the infamous. Zach Cabral, lead singer of Conflicting Motive, oh. owner slash operator slash manager slash button guru of Castle Door Studios. Is that a technical term? It is now. Button guru. You're a button guru, button sir. Button guru. I don't think I've had that title before, well, but you, I'll accept it. Well, you know um, what? You're going to have to add it to the end of you. Like, you know how, you, how people can have like doctor and esquire? Well, you like, remember his wall, right? We need to, have to have get him a certificate. I have a button a, guru. Up against all those oh, other. Yeah, you yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. All the, I all forget the his title. It was What's like What's up, seven everybody? Good to, good, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you, Jen Hogan. Great to see you. Michelle Hess is here. Shelly Wheeler is here. I see my man Terry McIver all the way from Ireland is here. Good to see you, sir. And thank you guys for joining us tonight. We Hi. are bringing you the You Pick 2 poll result every Tuesday at 12 p.m. We put up a list of five songs. You guys vote on them over the next several many hours, 20, 27, 20, 30, 36, 34, 34.357 hours. We 30. 30? 30 hours, 30 Jim. Hours. That's not as much fun of an answer, though. I like 33.6475. 30. 30. <laughs> 31. 31. That's better. 31. That's better. Yeah, it's yeah. a little different. You know, it's like 29.99. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Lynn Floyd? Great to see you. And thank you guys for joining us tonight. Yesterday, we put up a poll. And on that poll was five songs. We had Shawilf, uh, which is the acronym for Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For by U2. We also had Teddy Bear to write. by Elvis. We had Angel's Son by Seven Dust. We also had Walking Man and Smile My Love. Kitchen Killers Originals, we leaned on you guys for the votes. You clicked all the buttons you shared. Thank you very much for the likes and the shares and the notifications. So tonight we're going to bring you the winners uh, during the show, and we're also going to talk to Zach Cabral about uh, Zach Cabral. Uh, I thought that's Zach what you Cabral did. About. <laughs> Zach Cabral about. Zach Cabral it's a about. It's fun. Uh, Zach Cabral about uh, Conflicting Motive, Castle Door Studios, and then we also have the swag bag giveaway for our Killer Content Tier Patreon. Uh, tonight, the new song will go up that is only Patreon specific. So if you are a Killer Content member on our Patreon, uh, you will have access not only to that song that is specifically made and recorded for uh, that tier, but you will also have your name entered and potentially drawn uh, for the swag bag. And this is the very first swag bag we've actually ever given given away uh, for our Patreon. We got some really cool stuff in it, I think. Uh, we'll go over what we have got later, I'd say, in between the first and second song. If you want to do something like that, we can go over. I'll we're, allow it. We're going to have the man of the hour, Zach. He's going to pull the name from the list of names that we have floating around inside uh, Tipsy's home. He was nice enough to vacate for the evening. He's, you know, on a trip, if you will. He's visiting his buddy over here. That's tipsy's right. getting tipsy. That's right. Tipsy's getting tipsy, dog. And he's hanging out with this Yeti over here. You never know what's in there. It's dangerous times. Dangerous times. There's been a lot of different things in that Yeti. Coffee. Not just coffee. Beer. Not just beer. Oh, what else? What else? That's it. Mountain Dew. Yeah. Me what, el what else? Probably not water. Coffee, beer. We don't put water in that I've thing. put water in there before. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's a good one. This coffee, is, this beer. Is just, this is just the representative. The representative of a kitchen killer Yeti. And that maintains yeah. Yeah. like its temperature for like the entire yeah, day. Yeah, a really long time. Hours. Long, long, long Hours. time. It's yeah. good for hot. It's good for cold. It's really good for whatever you want to keep at a certain temperature. It'll do it. Yeah, it's also good for concealment. And <coughs> beer. What? 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 And it'll keep your beer cold. And then the beer's cold. Yes, it's the hidden beer cold. is cold, which is great. Well, we don't need to hide beer. We Nobody want. needs to hide beer. We just cold like beer. We just like to drink it out of a kitchen killer Yetis. That's it. That's like having a kitchen killer's koozie. You know, something like that. We're not necessarily trying to hide the beer. We're just trying to keep our beer at a nice temperature, mm. and we're trying to represent. Yeah, you because know, there's no reason to hide anything. And I like pink. Yeah, we <laughs> love pink. Do we? We love pink. I do. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. going to speak for everyone at the time. Oh, that's hot okay. pink. We love pink. It's a good you, color. you like hot okay. pink? Yeah, it's a Zach, great color. Zach likes hot pink. <laughs> right on, my man. Well, dude, thank yeah. you for joining us, dude. How is, uh, how is Conflicting Motive treating you? Uh, we just got done with the show on Monday. How'd it go? So that was really fun. We were you up for were you at Soundbar again? Where were you at? Yeah, Soundbar. Oh, what a again. good what a good venue, man. That's such yeah, a good venue. Cool That's awesome. Uh, the same promoter reached out to us like yeah? a week ago. So we're like, oh, short notice. Okay, we'll try to get something together like you know in one week. And yes, pulled it off. Yes, so. we'll do it. 
Yeah. That's not bad. A week's notice is not. Yeah. Is, 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 it could be better, but <laughs> that's not bad. That's what he does. I've gotten. You, are you guys ready in a week? Yes. I've gotten the day. I've gotten the day before. Yeah, the day uh, before. Oh yeah. I've gotten. Hey, we just had a band last minute drop. Would you yeah. guys be able to fill in tomorrow night? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, do you need to talk to your band? I mean, yes, but I will. They wouldn't be a part of my band if they were going to say no. Right. I, I, at that time, it was all a shared priority. Mm -hmm. So we knew. Like I knew as soon as I reached out to the crew, they were like, "Yep, yep, yep, yep." If you need to cancel plans, you need to cancel plans. But right. I, I think that's a big part of uh, any industry where you really start to put a passion into it. You have to continuously prioritize that as number one, whatever it is. You know, I would imagine in your case, Castle Door Studios is right up there. Right Absolutely, up there at the yeah. top. The studio is definitely at the top, and then the band's coming, you know, because sure. the band can't one exist without the, the studio. Sure, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, Has the studio uh, been? You've been busy? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's starting to get into the, you know, winter month, so... Is that is that good or is that bad? Do you see a the decrease? Slower you, do you see any? Okay. It's a slower time, gotcha. because people are on their holidays and kind of spending their money on gifts and stuff instead of sure. their albums, but... Sure, um, sure. I still actually am getting a lot of uh, mixing jobs. So nice, dude. That's awesome. People are still For all different work. kinds of music and all yeah. different kinds of stuff. So and you guys do voiceovers tracking. as well. Yeah, yeah voiceover work. That's what I'm talking about. We had uh, Eileen from Goalie's Gourmet Dog Chips with us on Monday, and she was and still is a singer. and an, uh, She was an opera singer for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, and she has a phenomenal voice, and we, we thought she would be great uh, doing some voiceover work. So we're going to try to see if we can uh, – we can link you guys up together. Uh, Goalie's Gourmet Dog Chips. Oh, okay. Which was really tasty, man. They're, they're the ones we had were 100% chicken and 100% pork loin. Um, and she made it because that is a, a picture of what Goalie looked like. Um, uh, that's not goalie. That's not goalie. No, that's not, that's okay. a picture what of what goalie, goalie, looks, goalie like. looks like. And these are dog treats. Yeah, these are these are dog treats. But I got to tell you, they're a hundred percent chicken, a chicken breast, and a hundred percent pork loin. So mm. it, you good, can, good for them. It it's good for us. That's good for humans. I had a couple chips. <laughs> okay. It was delicious. <laughs> I had the chicken a couple if times. If you can eat your dog food, I, I had the pork loin a couple times. Right. Oh yeah, absolutely, it only says man. not not for human con uh, consumption you can't on the sell back it. because like, you're not allowed to sell to, it because she doesn't have an down. FDA gotcha, gotcha. license to sell the food to humans. Right. However, she could sell it to your pups, and then you could eat it because you're stronger than your pups, and you can trick them by <laughs> grabbing a ball over here <laughs> yeah. and eating the chips over here. Stronger and smarter. I'm just saying it's it's quite a possibility. So thanks for joining us tonight, man. We. Yeah, appreciate man. it. Thank you so much. We know you you have a super busy schedule. How was your How was your holiday weekend? Uh, we just went. I went down to Port St. Lucie and spent, nice. spent time with Alyssa's family. So that was a lot of fun. Shout Dr. out to Alyssa Alyssa's Rose. Family. How is she doing? She's doing well. She decided not to join yeah. us tonight. Yeah, she's uh, doing going to the chiropractor and how's you know, she doing? Getting all her busy. She's feeling a lot better. So good. Good, good. 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 Well, man, car accidents can really throw your yeah, bro. Absolutely. Back out of alignment a bit. Everything. So. Everything. <laughs> it's one of those things where sometimes you don't really realize because your body kind of goes into that fight or flight mode. Like right. the, the adrenaline kicks in. You're like, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. And then they, they say like the day after the next two days, the next three days, that's when it really starts to, if you're going to feel something, that's when your body starts to kind of calm down a little bit. And you're like, Ooh, Oh, <laughs> there's something yeah. there. And that and that's yeah. that that's if it's it's subtle, but if it's if it's a direct impact and it's hard times, man. Sometimes yeah. that stuff. I mean, can she hit got right really away. lucky already. So, yeah. I mean, well, she was in a Subaru, right? Yeah. Subaru. What a safe car, dude. Subaru is our word. Absolutely, you know. absolutely, man. It's I've 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 had several friends that have found themselves in automobile collisions uh, in a Subaru, mm -hmm. um, and they have proclaimed multiple times how safe it was and how they were fine and how the car was w was technically. Uh, purposely crushed in certain areas so the humans lived and they were right 100 yeah fine. i have a subaru she got another subaru so subaru if you want to sponsor us you know what's up subaru where we are you represent at? subaru okay. that's right baby so thank you guys for joining us tonight we are going to get to it we got a couple songs to play we also have the swag bag giveaway to do we're going to chat with zach from conflicting motive and Casador studios and then luke is going to continue to be the little bugger he is what's up buddy what can i do for you sir yeah, we well everybody like keeps petting him. he's going to keep coming back i just want to chat chin <laughs> That's right. It's okay. So thank you guys for joining us tonight. Please like and share this video. We want to see if we can get some good viewers in here so we can, you know, hang out with the community, baby. It's great to see you. Lisa Baker, hello, love. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. It is, it's hump day and it was chilly. I woke up this morning. It was pretty chilly. It was like 47, 40s. 48 degrees, man. I love it. I, it's, it's doing good. This hey, man, you got to tell me. I this, was out there this, at 4 o'clock. This is what I prepare for all year by wearing this hoodie. It's just <laughs> like, da -da -da, da -da -da. I just prepare for hoodie weather like, uh, uh. Uh, uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> hoodie, hoodie, are, hoodie. Are you? Yeah. Are Stoked. You? Yeah. That seems kind of counterproductive. Boom. Being warm ready all the time. The, and no, then, no, no, no. Uh, all right. Uh, He's rocking now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to fight you somebody. You got to prepare for it. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs>
I was wearing my hoodie in the studio last night, and I still was cold. So, dude, you I mean you keep your studio pretty yeah. crisp. Yeah, I wasn't even wearing. What is it even wearing? I wasn't even running the AC. Really? So, it's, dude, it's it's, it's been so like nice outside. We've just nice. been opening doors and yeah. opening windows and kind of letting nature take you know mm-hmm. take 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 care of the uh, nice time climate. of year on the electricity bill. The, oh, absolutely. Yeah. By the way, our power board was excellent this month. Yeah. It was excellent. So yeah, love it, love it. Thank you, Mother Nature, love it. or Father Nature, whatever, which is a store on OBT that you can go to and visit and just tell them what's up, and then don't mention anything specific, but ask them to see their <laughs> the back room. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> sweet baby. We're we're gonna get going. Let's get to song number two, which I think is uh is uh over here. That one is over here. Hey, can, uh, you, can you do me a favor? Can you okay. uh, can you can you uh, let's see. Let's go into number two. So. Volume down on number two, swap XLR to quarter inch, uh, and then let me know when we're ready to rock and roll. We'll be ready to rock and roll. Oh, there it is. I found it. You have the same guitar, don't you? Yeah, buddy. It's in the shop right now. Being it, really? What's wrong with it? Uh, it needed a new electric system and, a, and a, an adjustment on the bridge. I got gotcha. you. Or uh, what do you call the action that goes behind it? I got gotcha. you. Where do you where do you go? Uh, Sam Ash. Really? Sam Ash on Lee Road, yeah. Oh, Sam Ash on Lee Road. Hello. All right, let's uh Oh yeah, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at sec Oh, uh, coming in at second place. Hello, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, sweet. Here we go, baby. I hope you guys dig it, man. This is called Smile My Love. Lisa Baker, this is for you. See the sun in repetition Spent last night beneath this room In my arms reside The greatest love that I've been given Now I'm coming home to you A world away you know my mind is on to love Only you would be the one to aid this great departure Only you would bring the truth Smile my love, don't let me be alone no more Time will test me best be love neglected out that door. It pounds with unknown measures like before. I see a love that I'm in need for But begging fools won't sacrifice Only you would be the one that I will always reach for Only you will pay the price Smile, my love, don't let me Test me best be love neglected out that door. Just 
just like before A new man just like before Woke up every day to see the sun in repetition I spent last night beneath this roof In my arms reside the greatest love that I've been given And I'm coming home to you All right. What's up, everybody? Can you can you kill number uh, number number two? I want to see what that. Wah. That's it. That's the ticket, Jim. Oh man. Yeah, it, I'm I'm gonna say it's the quarter inch cable because I know it's not the board and I know it's not good, good, the guitar. So I think it's that quarter inch cable. We'll, we'll we'll run a continuity test on that one later. Let's get Zach plugged that back means, in so that we'll we can hear we can hear the doctor, the great the great issuance of amazing sounds through Castledore Studios, which offers a lot of different things, which is super crazy. Let's see. Are you back? No, no I got to turn it up again. Volume. Volume. Check. Whoa, bro. Ah, there we go. So good. Back. Hello again. Yes. I got my voice back. You did. Congratulations. <laughs> you lost your voice They're for like, the shortest time. Be quiet time. while we play music. Shut your <laughs> face. I really like how you play that scale or you know, the line on that because it's all just like open string picking and then just that one A string. Yeah, man. I, I, I really, really try to let the guitar do as much work as possible so I don't have to. Mm-hmm. You know, I really like that. So that That's was a smart uh, approach. My friend, uh, my friend, I'm Drew, the exact opposite. My friend Drew Miller gave me that tuning. He mm-hmm. was, uh, we were actually at a, an event called Beast Feast, which takes place in Sylvania, Georgia, every year. Mm. Um, this is years ago, and he said, "Man, I've been, I've been playing with this new tuning, D A D E A E." He's like, "It's really beautiful. It's really natural, and it brings out the natural sound of the guitar." And I was like, "All right, let's rock and roll." So he put his guitar in D A D E A E and, and played it, and it was really interesting. The chord, the chords that he was uh, forming, and the sound that was coming out of the mm-hmm. car, guitar was super full very enriching is that where you had that one in yeah oh, cool. so i was like all right cool so i went home and i'm like i'm definitely going to do something with this so i tuned one guitar and just kept it in that tuning and i didn't change it and i just played with it every single day yeah and i was like oh, okay let me hear okay it started to build itself you know how it goes it started to build itself and i was like all right cool that's it i'm done got the song excellent i wrote to drew right away i'm like yo fyi nailed it Thanks, songs man. come out so quickly when you change the tuning yeah you know no, when you leave sure. standard like you just suddenly like it yep. just opens all these like new directions yeah. that you're not yeah. constrained and by. And my, my brain goes, oh my gosh, look at all these choices. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this. I can do this. I can do this. Like, where do we want to take it from here? Super cool, man. Well, yeah. like you're so you're so used to hearing the strings in a certain tuning. Like mm-hmm. doing something very very simple on a new tuning sounds completely mm-hmm. different. Yeah. So it's it's very easy to come. Yeah, I get. Oh that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So catch us up on Casador, my man. What have you been up to? I know you said you've been uh, doing some recording, you've been taking some yeah. gigs, you've been doing, uh, like, who, who's the latest, and if you can talk about it, who's the latest artist that you've been working with? We had a, an interesting one just the end of last month okay. where um, these two guys from the UK uh, that run a uh, production company called Blue Dot, like in reference to Small Blue Dot, Carl Sagan Gotcha, thing. gotcha. Oh, interesting. And they do, like, nice. yeah, they do, like, these really cool, like, big festivals, um, I guess like kind of EDM. I'm really not sure what genre, but I mean it's big festivals. Sure. This was like the off time of the year, so they came on holiday. You know, because that's what they sure. say here, not vacation. Holiday. We're on, We're on holiday. holiday. Yeah. We're on. Ho- We're taking yeah. a bit of a holiday. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Bit of a holiday. I, that's kind of came out Irish. You got yeah. like. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> you got okay. The British okay. accent down. That's okay. Terry's no, from these guys were from Man- judge. These guys were from uh, Manchester, and they were on vacation with their family, and then they're like. You know, while we're at our parks, we want to go and record some stuff at the sure. same time. And so um, they got connected with some people that I know. And my I was name about to say, how, how, did, how, did that, how did that connection happen? Uh, what was the uh, synapses was, here? Um, my old professor that I, w- that I knew through Full Sail. Okay. Um, I'm still in touch with him because he does field trips at my school with oh, the nice. music business. Oh, that's students. awesome. Kind of walking people through, showing them the ropes, showing yeah. them what's going on, what a real studio looks mm-hmm. like. And, um, it's a beautiful studio, my man. So I got to tell you, it's gorgeous. Y- thank it you. really is, thank dude. You, so you guys have put a lot of attention <laughs> to detail, man. It's really nice. I, I appreciate yeah. that. I know. It's really yeah. nice. I he definitely uh, uh, contributed to Chris Charles. He did a lot of that. Sure. Thank, work, thank so. you, Chris Charles. We love yeah. you. Yeah. But in, uh, a, in a very inappropriate did he, way. <laughs> did he do the post-it wall? The post-it wall. Yeah. We, we, we did some of that together. Tons of yeah. post-its. Nice. He did most of that. That's tons yeah, of that post-its. Was like that, his, that's that was his genius. Model. That entire wall is sponsored by the 3M Corporation. <laughs> 
Yeah, not the, the Umbrella Corporation, Lisa Baker. Yeah. We're watching you, but and the three the three M Corporation post its at paid all. for that wall. It's 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 over uh it's over a quarter of a billion post its that took to make that entire freaking wall. Huge shout out to three M. Quarter looks, of a billion. It looks and feels and smells just like wood though. Two hundred and fifty thousand really isn't that much. When I was a little when I was a little kid and I would watch movies and then they mm-hmm. opened the briefcase of a million dollars and it was like stacks and stacks of fifties. Yeah. That's actually like this many. It's really not you that You know, much. I heard this uh, interesting <laughs> analogy was like uh, a million seconds oh. equals mm-hmm. 11 years. 31 years. A billion is 31 years. And a billion is thir- – oh, yeah, 11, right? Yeah. It's 11, and then a billion is 31 years. Yep. No, yeah, man. So I, I thought like, that was really whoa. interesting to understand the difference 11 between day, it was a 11 million days, right? and a billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11 days versus 31 years. I was going to say, it's thir- not – Versus 31 <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it was 11 like days. Totally such, 11 days. Such, there a, we go. such w- one letter. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy that a million yeah. to a billion is like, oh, yeah, I mean, that, that's, that, that's not that much. And then a trillion no, yeah. is like 31 – Thousand seven hundred years. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. Oh my That's goodness! That's crazy. So I think I d- whenever Billy thing. says billion, he says billion with a with B. A B. <laughs> I, I, I read last week <laughs> that Jeff, Jeff Bezos is on track to become the very first trillionaire. Yep, he's on track to become the uh, very first sense. trillionaire. We're all spending our money on Amazon. So. And it's incredible, dude. <laughs> it's addicting. It, it, it's it's <laughs> almost become the shopping world as Facebook is the social media world. Mm-hmm. You know, there are some people that have Amazon open. Every day they have a tab just like they have on their phone. They have the Facebook app or they have a tab on their browser that's Facebook or whatever. A lot of people, me included, have Amazon open because I buy stuff every day to, to feed the a service IT that's world. like impossible to like want to like – I mean as a consumer. It makes it so hard for easy, me to like, dude. Every time I even go to Walmart, I'm like, well, can yeah. I just get this on Amazon? Dude, I, like read, a, I read a post today by my friend Jack DeMarco. He went to Best Buy to buy an HDMI cable and he looked yeah. at the HDMI cable and he got the make and the company and the price. And he went right on Amazon and found it for almost half the price. And he said to the guy at Best Buy, he said, why would I, and I'm all for supporting box stores, but why would I buy this that I don't absolutely need right this moment Mm -hmm. when I can can have this delivered tomorrow for half the price? So the only reason that you would would buy something at a store – uh, uh, unless you can't find it on Amazon, which I don't, I don't know if that Prime now. <laughs> but like the only reason you buy the store is if you need it right now. Right now, and they're even tackling that now as well with Prime now. I had it delivered to uh, the to headphones. Yeah, I had it delivered just a couple of days ago. Um, I, uh, at where where I where I was working, I was like, you know what, I'm at a coffee creamer. I'm like, let me see, let me see what we got. So like, I found coffee creamer on Prime Fresh, they call it. Mm. So I found coffee creamer on Prime Fresh. I'm like, let me see what else they got. So I bought a car charger. I bought a 24 pack of Mountain Dew for like six bucks because it was on sale. Mm-hmm. Like I had all this stuff. They came da- same day. There is, it, it came within, in two hours. Within hours. Two hours. Yeah. Yeah, it came in two hours. And if you order over a certain amount, then then the, the delivery is free. In cities though. <laughs> That's not oh yeah, be yeah, yeah. The headphones, areas, so. the headphones that you're wearing right now. Actually, we were at a venue and we we, we were at we're, Tampa we were Bay Comic Con. We were at Tampa Bay Comic Con. We were at a convention. And, and we, we were trying to set up. Station. All right, you tell it. Oh yeah, 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 you're good. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, well, it wasn't a venue. It was at Tampa Bay Comic Con, which is completely different than going into like a venue. You right. know, we're talking sixty, seventy thousand people. Yeah. So we had a we had a vendor booth. We were sharing with Josh Bauer and Trey Max, and we had a listening station set up so three people could come up and they could listen. We had the splitter, we had the board, we had our instruments, the microphones, we had all of our merch set up. We totally forgot the headphones. No headphones. Yeah. No headphones. At all. <laughs> I would never think to go to Amazon for that. I would definitely be like, you know, go to the nearest, like, technology and there's store. No, at the conventions, man, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Like, I, I, the, the amount of time and money that it would take me to Uber, because we Ubered, the, like, to get to Uber, to wait for the Uber to come, to get there, to go to yeah. the store, to have them wait, which they're not going to do, which they may do now. Do they wait now? They, th- at the time, they didn't wait. Yeah. Like, once you got out, you got to get another <laughs> ride. Right. That was it. To go in, and I'm like, man, we need them now. So I thought maybe a vendor on the floor would have headphones Mm -hmm. nope no vendors on the floor because sometimes you can find like anime vendors that have like the anime headphones that have something you know from some skull (laughs) candy or something yeah or from overwatch you know like those kind of headphones like maybe we can support a vendor and get our headphones zero nothing at all not gonna happen and i was like all right i said well let me jump on amazon and see what we got for amazon prime and we're right in the heart like we're right in tampa in the heart of tampa Mm -hmm. so i found headphones for like 16 bucks and i was like whoa i'm like all right cool so ordered three sets of headphones and I was like, yep, here's it, it went over the threshold to where I didn't have to pay for delivery. Yeah. And I put I literally drug it right to the front of the convention center, right to the closest door to us right here. 
and they were like, cool, it'll be here in 45 minutes. No way. So Shelly and I walked outside. We walked down the stairs. Here, and you can see it right on the app. Well, here you beat comes, me on uh, that. I don't think I've ever gotten a 45-minute delivery from Amazon yet. Dude, that it, is it, insane. It, was, it was within an hour. And I don't know if it's because of our location or if it was because of the time or maybe both. We were yeah. right next to the warehouse. Is that what it was? Yeah. Man, it, had was, to be it close was to that. right yeah. there. We walked right downstairs, and uh, uh, the sec- everybody's standing out there. security standing out there. All these people are standing out there. This, this Uber pulls up, and he's like, he actually said to a, a bunch of security guards, he was like, hey, did you guys order something from Prime? And they mm-hmm. were like, what? And I was like, that's me. <laughs> so, like, they turned Excuse around. Excuse me. Like, uh, no. He was like, here you go. And I took it, and, uh, and, and I opened I'm like, yep, here we go. We got our headphones. And the guy's like, you – I'm sorry, what? Did you just have headphones delivered to you? I'm like, yes. oh, yeah, baby, Prime Now is the way to go. Well, that's pretty awesome. Prime Now is also – but, yeah. Is it more Prime Now, or is it just – it's just no. location-based, right? It's, it's location-based. It's part Walmart? of It's part like of more Amazon. More than Prime. It's, board of pri- it's part of Prime. It's part of Prime. You don't have to add it on or anything cool. like that. You know, so you don't, it's you. not like an additional fee. So with, with Amazon Prime, you qualify for Prime Fresh or Prime Now. They've changed yeah. the name three times. Like and now that I'm thinking about it, they're adding all this this stuff like the Amazon Prime, the Amazon sure. Prime, whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. still the same price. It's still the same. Yeah. For Amazon, they haven't raised the price at all of Amazon Prime at all. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. They've it's, invested yeah, it's awesome. billions of dollars <laughs> yeah, yeah. in delivering same day service, and they're still the same price. Yeah, which Amazon's which, killing. Yeah, and it, it's super cool because what they're doing is they're breaking they're breaking the game. You know, I saw something last week that posted that that there were ten ten point eight billion dollars in pre sales. For Tesla's new pickup truck mm-hmm. with zero advertising, zero marketing, yeah. nothing. Just because it's I think the Tesla. fact that they broke the glass Elon actually Musk. upsold That's the car. That's 100,000 trucks. I like the fact that the, I think Elon Musk knew you that was so? going to happen. <laughs> Dude, he's. I don't know, man. He, he's he tried and pretty true. candid. Like, he's, he's tried and true. You know, he's a good I, actor then because he I really seems think, surprised. I don't think anything that he does is not absolutely calculated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I would imagine when that I would saw explain that, like how well he handled himself afterwards because I would have been so embarrassed if standing. If you think about if windows. you think about the clicks that are gonna it, the, the ad and the marketing and the eyes that are gonna get on it if it worked perfectly would be yeah. less if it broke no. it would be more. I actually saw this uh, guy giving a review on it and he was like the media totally missed the ball because the media immediately like just kept on like announcing it like it was a smear campaign. They're like, oh, terrible, terrible PR. Yep. You know, like he broke the glass and it was supposed to be bulletproof. Yeah, it's yep. just a complete disaster. You yep. know. Headlines of disaster, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then two days later, it's like two hundred thousand presales. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, it wasn't a disaster. Like, yep, ten point really eight billion in yeah. presales <laughs> with a B, billion. Yeah. Uh, and it was really. Crazy I wonder how many of those are going to actually go through. You know, because you there's no commitment. Like, you just commit a hundred dollars. Yeah, and exactly. You can get refunded. So exactly. We'll exactly. See how many of those convert? It's be, it'll be but. very interesting. I, I was interested to see, and he even said, like, I like the style of this, and if you don't like it, I don't care. I was like, okay, well done, Elon Musk. Yeah. All right. I, mean, I think he said something like, I don't even know if this will sell, but here yeah. we go. <laughs> here we go. I lo- did you did you see the presentation? Yeah, I watched the whole thing. It was really cool, like yeah. when they brought the ATV out, that they it was just like bonus. We created a fully <laughs> battery powered ATV. electric ATV yeah. just to roll up like, into you, the back of the truck. Give me more information on that. Like, I want. <laughs> right? Where do I get that from? I don't Where's need those the trucks. Trucks? What's the pre sales on the ATV? <laughs> yeah. Then he runs the ATV up into the truck and plugs it in. Yeah. So brilliant, man. And showing off the built in ramp, you know how come no that was car really has, cool i mean maybe it a truck se- has that now but so i've never simple. seen a truck with a built-in ramp before. it seems so simple and if you think it's about it they it. have them almost printers like the most printer you fold that down and you pull yeah. the little shelf out and you put the little so the paper can like mm-hmm. not just fall on the ground yeah have them in printers how do they not have them in pickup trucks right what's going on i here? still That's don't crazy. know if he's legitimately trying to target like F-150s. Big strong men that you know want their oh, big trucks big, and burly, be, yeah, hairy, like, hairy bearded. I feel like the typical flannel. truck guy probably still doesn't want to buy these. He wants a diesel, but there's going to be a loud. whole bunch of yeah. Right. I want something loud that makes a lot of smoke and destroys. Just creating the environment. a new market. Yeah, new, yeah. Oh, dude, and just absolutely. Just, just totally changing the game. Absolutely, know? it'll be interesting yeah. to see the crash tests because a lot of those cars are built with crumple zones, right. but this is built like a tank, bro. He took that sledgehammer to those doors yeah, what's over it called, and over uh, and over again. Cold rolled steel. Yeah, I think is what they're. He was it. saying how it's. I mean, dude, it's going to be interesting to see how it su- how it survives. I saw. Mm-hmm. I Let's put it up against a Subaru. Oh, <laughs> n- not with Doctor Alyssa in it. <laughs> so it uh, with dummies. <laughs> there Dang. was a uh, there was a there was a video I saw the other day, and it was ta- it was um, talking about how strong Jeep is, mm-hmm. and it was like an intersection, yeah. and there was uh, one car that just ran a stoplight, and the Jeep just plowed into it, and like the other car was completely destroyed, and the Jeep came to a perfect like right yeah, in the yeah. middle of the intersection. It looked completely untouched. They were just okay. talking about the power of the wow. uh, of like yeah. how strong it was because the 
just the framework or whatever was right. going on. And you could tell the Jeep wasn't just a stock Jeep. Like, this guy had some yeah, stuff done to it. Stuff to it right? They definitely did some <laughs> stuff to it. But I'm interested to see how this specific Tesla vehicle is going to handle in tests on the road with other vehicles. I like how you know people or like companies will use the military grade sure. word as like Quote a marketing unquote. tactic yeah, yeah, you know yeah. they'd be like this knife is military they did, grade they did that with uh with glass for the phones it was right. military was grade what like, makes it military grade i don't know like nobody it, knows it's totally he, a marketing has, he has military it's like, experience not it's us. like 4k it's, marketing. I don't it's know. like 4k you know like what does 4k mean i mean there's not even really 4k pixels so that's a marketing tactic too. So the military grade thing just hmm. sounds like you're selling something tough, sure. of quality material they just say that it. a military would purchase, right? You know, but I like how Elon can be like, "We're making this with a spaceship grade material because he owns a space company, and that's what they use <laughs> and that's what he's actually <laughs> on using. the SpaceX program, <laughs> and he can get away with it, <laughs> oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's true. You know? true. <laughs> yeah. I've actually built these things for Mars, you know." Yeah. <laughs> I got a multi-purpose plan. Yeah, it's true, and it's it, it, and that's one many one of the many ways that that technology is changing the landscape of what we know as consumerism. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and we talked about this before. Chris Christie in New Jersey at one point, and this is several years ago, he prohibited the sale of Tesla vehicles in the state of New Jersey because he oh. felt it was taking away from the middleman. So he refused to allow Teslas to be sold directly in New Jersey. So Who what did? happened was um, Chris Christie. Oh, the the mayor, uh, governor, right? Yeah, yeah. So what he was doing was he was allowing Teslas to be sold outside of the state and then brought in, no big deal. Okay. But he was, quote-unquote, protecting the middleman. I'm like, yeah. hold on a second. Like, what you're actually doing is you're stunting the flow and progress of technology. That's like what you're really doing. Yeah. And that happens a lot. We've had that conversation quite quite a bit when you talk about uh, fossil fuels, when you talk about battery power, when you talk about solar power, when you talk about these other technologies that have been available to us for such a long time yeah. uh, to make life easier. And that's pretty much what this whole thing is about. Why do we have a vacuum cleaner? We could sweep all the floors. Women were why going we, into the workforce. Why do we? Uh, yeah. Why do we have lawnmowers? Like you can mm-hmm. still buy the one with the blades on it, where you just push and mow. Why do we have that? Bigger jobs, faster jobs, more efficient, more effective, and it created an, a booming business. Yeah, but I think it's like the paradigm shifts are uncomfortable for people. So of they, course, they people, try don't to like change. Change. people don't like yeah, change. People don't like change. People don't like change, man. Absolutely yeah. not. You know, it could. And it, it's crazy because, like, FYI, and an and, and IT a bit of IT information. I'm sure you know this. In January, Windows Seven is done, everybody. So. Uh, uh, no FYI, if you have Windows 7 on any Microsoft or an, an any device with Windows 7 on it, in January, it's no longer supported by Microsoft. Absolutely done. You've got I'm still to upgrade. On, I'm still on XP. Dude, I liked XP. <laughs> no, uh, XP not. and Windows 2000 no. are really dug. I didn't like Windows Millennium. They fired that entire development team. That as as good, they should that have. That was a bad OS. Oh, uh, yeah. It was terrible, man. And then uh, uh, Windows 8 was okay, but actually Windows 7 was a more stable operating system than Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 personally. Mm. And then I, I normally went – I went from Windows 7 went right to Windows 10. Yeah. Windows 10 is, is pretty good, but FYI, bye-bye. But a lot of people don't want to get rid of it. I've had some people say, oh. don't upgrade my computer. Don't upgrade. I'm like, you don't have a choice. Like it's 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 yeah. done. It's like with the iPhones. Like yeah. I can't keep my iPhone seven for seventeen years. No, it's like not, after no. a while they come a couple more models. You're you're done. Yeah, I no mean more updates. The, up, the, it's the operating system requires so much more power. It starts draining the battery so much. So and they actually stop pushing out certain update levels at certain levels of, of a phone. So if you have an iPhone four or five or, or like if you have an iPhone I think five, you can't get thirteen point two point three. Yeah, like that that's what I, I learned that when I had the five. That's the only reason I have a seven right now. Yeah, because you. Can't, I liked my five. Yeah, you can't up. You can't upgrade. Yeah, after you can't a certain get to the latest one. It just won't, will stop Sometimes you. there's like hardware limitations. Too Absolutely. That are happening, you know? Oh yeah, big time. Big Innovating time. new hardware, but. Yeah, there's also the built-in obsolescence too factor. So oh yeah, that's of an course. Unfortunate thing and that was uh, that was one of those things where it it, w- it was really interesting. And I, I want to say that that happened maybe a year ago when Apple came out and they were like, "Yes, we purposely slow down the yeah, phones," they and then they were like, ah! "And the question was, why do you slow down the phones?" And their answer was because of the consumption of the battery with the OS characteristics and features that are available we needed to slow down how fast the battery would die so we had to slow down the processing rate at which the the phone could process all the commands going into the phone which then made it laggy now either way it doesn't matter you're yeah, still slowing you still down the didn't phone tell the consumer that. and you still didn't let anybody yeah. know that you know like i get why they did it logically it makes perfect sense but you drop the ball because you didn't tell people what was going on right and that's that's Transparency, people. No way to do it, baby. Be honest with your consumer. That's the way it works. Just let me know what's going on, That's and we'll true. be okay with it. That's true. So FYI, uh, Zach is a brilliant guy. I love talking to you, man. We, we, <laughs> we have a really good time. But let's get back to it. It yeah. is uh, – let's do our swag bag raffle. Is that cool, Commodore? 
Oh right yeah, there. nice. You want you, cool. you, you want to go through the? Let's go through the let's bag and see. This. Let's see what's in the swag bag for this month's Patreon Killer Content tier. So that is the third tier on our Kitchen Killers Patreon site. You can go to patreon.com slash kitchen killers. Sign up for the Killer Content tier, and you have access to some really cool stuff, one of which is this swag bag raffle we do once once a month. Uh, we put your name into uh, Tipsy's home, and then we do a little – do a little shake, 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 and as the Commodore and I don't vote on the poll, uh, we are not going to pull the name. Uh, so we're going to allow Zach Cabral from uh, Castle Door Studios and Conflicting Motive. Let's see what we got in there, my dude. So in this month's swag bag, What's we try to pack it out, baby. We try to put some really good stuff up there. We've got some Lakeland Barbecue Rub. What's up, Joel Van? Now, I will tell you this, man. You can put this on a lot of different stuff, dude. A lot of different stuff. What did stuff. I put it on the other night? Oh, we did baked potatoes. I put it on my baked potato. Oh my god, oh, bro, Joel Van! Delicious. I gotta tell you, man, we're super versatile when it comes to cooking. We love, to, I, I love to cook. We, you know, the Commodore mm -hmm. and I were in the restaurant industry for a really long time. We like flavors and mixing stuff and trying to try new things. And this Lakeland barbecue rub is so good on so many different things. We rocked it on baked potatoes the other night. Absolutely outstanding. So a little bit uh, of spice, a little bit of sweet. It's so, so we're gonna good. we're gonna give you guys a uh, a bottle of the Lakeland barbecue company rub, which is outstanding. Now I love the barbecue sauce, but Joel Van says the rub is the bombdiggity.com. What was that other thing you just pulled oh, out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Moving on. Boom. Moving on. We get a Kitchen Killers koozie in the swag bag for this month as well. Uh, so, yes, Matthew Pfeiffer, a raffle, my dude. Where does Absolutely. this QR code lead to? Oh, that QR code leads mm. to our Facebook page, our oh, Kitchen Killers Facebook, Facebook page, page, where you can head there, you can like, you can notify, you can follow, you can keep up with all the shenanigans that we get ourselves in. We're also going to add, <coughs> thank you, Wayne Dench out of Sanford and Jason Sawyer. We're also going to add a Bud Light koozie in there as well for you. So, right now... Uh -oh. We have Lakeland Barbecue Company rub. We have a Bud Light koozie. We have a Kitchen Killers koozie. We also have some awesome puppies that, that we are going to be put in, putting in the swag bag. No, just the barks. Just the barks. Not the puppies. You get just three the barks. barks in the bag. So when you open yeah, yeah. the bag, you get one bark, chance bark, bark. to hear the barks, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. But you also get a Kitchen Killers sticker. This was a, a joint venture with us and the illustrious and amazing Jay Bauer Art. Thank you very much, Josh, for printing some badass stickers for us, man. Boom. So we got a Bud Light koozie, a Kitchen Killers koozie, a Lakeland Barbecue Rub, and an awesome Kitchen Killers guy? sticker. Uh-oh. Who is this guy? That's right, baby. We also have a copy of The Arsonist. This is a standard edition of The Arsonist, which I released uh, just a couple years ago. Just some solo mm -hmm. tunes, baby, rocking and rolling. They are full band songs. Uh, so you can find that at BillyFloyd.com. You can check out the standard edition and uh, the deluxe edition. But in this month, you get the, the Arsonist, which is the standard edition, five full band songs. That is also in the bag with two koozies and some Lakeland barbecue rub. But we're not done. And the sticker. But wait. Oh, and the sticker. But wait. Wait, there's more. Oh, yeah, baby. this cool black bag. That is true. That says, says thank you thank on you it. Thank you on it. so And shiny cute. silver. That's right. And you can do anything you want because it's your bag. Oh, snap. That's right. What's that? We are also going to be tossing in a Kitchen Killers t-shirt with the OG logo on it. We are going to combine the Kitchen Killers t-shirt with the Arsonist, which is a five-song album, with the Bud Light koozie, the Kitchen Killers koozie, the Kitchen Killers sticker, and... Uh, a bottle of Lakeland barbecue barbecue rub, which is super awesome. And it all fits in the bag. That's right, in the bag, baby. The bag. So we've made it to the point. Where we're <laughs> gonna give it to the great and illustrious Zach Cabral to Ooh, reach into draw. Tipsy's home. Out of all of the names, he's gonna pick one out. He's gonna read it, and we're gonna see who gets to receive the which, very the very which first Patreon member. Yeah, which Patreon member who is, is going gonna to do it, baby? Bag. Let's right. see what you got, Zach. Here we go. I'm excited. We have. Reese. Oh, Reese. yeah, that is Reese, Reese Peacock from EMS Mobile Detailing. Congratulations, Reese Peacock, winning the very first swag bag of Kitchen Killers Patreon. We most certainly appreciate it, sir. Reese and was Reese, awesome. thank you so much for, we had for him, subscribing. Uh, we had him here two Mondays ago from EMS Detailing. Awesome, oh, dude. So nice. You can actually go to emsmobiledetailing.com slash, uh, is it still Black Friday? Is that with the sale? The website is actually up there, and you can use Killer5. Uh, to get a 5% discount on some really cool stuff that Reese has up there to take care of your vehicle, baby. Take care of your car. Take care of your truck. Kate, take care of your car's truck or your truck's car, your friend's car, your Aunt Jerome's car because, you know, it's 2019. It's the year of acceptance. I don't know about you guys, but I do not like cleaning the inside of my windows in my car. I don't like it. It's but he fun. gave you a trick. I don't I, – I used it already. Did, did it work? Oh, yeah. Oh, do you oh, want to yeah. – you want to share he – said, he said it on the show. You want to remind them what the trick is? I want them to and use EMS. Is, and this is to what? Detail. <laughs> this is to get lint-free. You got to get a lint-free cloth. Yeah. I used uh, I used actually the the black linens that I have. 
I used one of those. Oh, the but restaurant you get, linens. You can, get a, you can get a microfiber cloth, just a lint-free cloth. And uh, so what I did, he said he said to use lint-free cloths for, for, for both. But I used a paper towel and, and some glass cleaner, just like you would normally do. And then just kind of smear the glass cleaner all over it. So there's still a little bit of wetness, but you got to be quick because it dries fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you take the lint-free cloth, and you just go all over it. How's how's that and go it, again? I that was pretty good. <laughs> that was a lot of effort. That was that I was really, there was a lot of ener- there was a lot of energy into that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine doing spray. that to all my windows. That was, that's <laughs> why I don't like doing it. <laughs> that's too much. Does it work on bulletproof glass as well? We can ask, know, Elon ask, Musk. ask Elon. Yeah, I will say this: he did. He was happy that the glass didn't break. Mm-hmm. You know, and that was a big ball too. That was a big steel ball, like a ball bearing. Yeah. And then that thing was huge. He's like, well, at least the glass didn't shatter. Like it, he said it's they did spider. it out of order, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Which is cool because they did the drop test, mm-hmm. uh, which is really cool, man. Like they did the drop test on the first one and it cracked, yeah. and then they did the same exact weighted ball on the on the Tesla glass, didn't crack. Bigger ball, higher, didn't crack. Yeah. Bigger ball, even higher. Then the guy climbed the ladder, <laughs> went all the way to the top, still didn't crack. I love that his mission is just to like just totally destroy its competition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's to- It's not L- even just literally. barely beating them. <laughs> he crushes yeah. them. He w- goes into it and says, "You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to revolutionize the space industry. I'm going to privatize the space industry." <laughs> and yeah. people are like, "Yeah, right. Okay. Sorry, bitch. If you guys haven't seen any of these cool ass videos with a SpaceX rocket landing, relanding on one of the aircraft carriers pretty in the cool. South China Sea or wherever, freaking amazing to see that happen. I want to see some self driving cars pretty soon. Fully self driving. No, for sure, man." For sure, I, I want one. I see more and more Teslas on the road. I know, I know. There's other electric. I know there's other electric solutions that are available, but the technology behind Tesla, the idea behind Tesla, and I, I like breaking away from the big machine, breaking away from Ford, breaking away from Chevy, mm-hmm. breaking away from these huge machines that have been dominating the industry for years and not years changing. and years and years and not changing. Mm-hmm. You know, now you have Tesla coming out, and now all of a sudden everybody's coming out with electric cars. Yep. It's like, yeah, you He's got pushing t- the status quo. Yeah, you got Tesla going. Listen, bro, if mm-hmm. you don't do it, I'm going to do it. Oh, you didn't do it. It's done now it's done you know which i want to see more solar for sure man get all that for sun sure. energy yeah the 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 house my parents just moved into the the pool and the the water heater mm-hmm. and uh, pretty much everything in the pool is powered by solar panels on the, on the roof Good of the stuff. house and it's like awesome and that's just the beginning yeah that's just the beginning that's which great. is really interesting to see i see more and more about about batteries uh, tesla has the home battery uh, where you mount them on the wall and it takes care mm. of a certain amount of power for the home they, they have solar, solar roofs panels so solar yeah. roof tiles when i was in high school back in hawaii i went to an alternative like science learning school and I built electric cars. Really? And That's awesome. raced them statewide against other schools on a separate island. How much how much would it cost to build an electric car that we well, could race? Those cars were built out of carbon fiber and aluminum and okay. we fabricated them from scratch. Like okay. I actually had a lathe and I fabricated a solid block of aluminum. Do you take commissions? I mean, <laughs> this was stuff I did 25 years ago. Okay, so. I mean, it's like riding a bike, though. You're fine. <laughs> I believe in you. Get back, back on the bike. I believe in you. Yeah, get um, back on those electric bikes. <laughs> yeah. Zach. No, it was really cool. We raced those, and then I actually my the the study that I did, like the actual you know part that was sure. graded on, was doing research on deep cycling electric batteries. Oh wow! So it was like a full on research paper with. Uh, with the controls and treatment and that's awesome like doing it like college level papers like in high school so it was nice really fun. dude i should have taken like i bet a lot you learned so much man well i mean yeah back then we just called it global warming so sure <laughs> it's just like it was like a lot of research on that and uh, a lot of learning about alternative energy like sure. the whole study was alternative energy so you got to like apply it in real in time real time so, so yeah. a real application and, it, a and world we, we kind of had an advantage over all the schools we went to because most of the schools we competed against were just doing it as an elective okay and it was like my full-time it like, was your course thing. it was my course yeah they're doing but it like once a once a week no it's like we you're literally doing it like all shops day and just the whole thing was just building electric cars. Yeah, that's so so and that's that so school cool. start, high this, school yeah that school was founded because Jealous. of it started as a division of another bigger school okay and they raced a solar car in, in australia I think it was in Australia, and then they ended up making a movie about that. Nice. Um, with like Holly Berry when she was like a really young actress. Really? Yeah. I'll have so to check the, that out, man. I love stuff like built, that. Built off of like that whole solar car thing, and then they kept on expanding to other divisions of science. Man, that's great. I I, so. I do like how the industry is getting rocked a little bit, you know, by yeah. by the by the introduction uh, and uh, the brute force introduction right. of Tesla. So yeah, just seeing that, like you know, being being exposed to those type of sciences mm-hmm. at such a young age, and then watching you know these companies yeah. like you know 
take on bringing that industry. It. And just bringing, bringing it, it, man. It's Absolutely. It's really satisfying and really encouraging. It, it, it really is very interesting. And, you know, they talk about Moore's Law in regards to technology and, you know, the, the advancement of the microprocessor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they say how uh, just the evolutionary growth of, of the, the, the circuit, uh, the, the, the processor itself just grows so quickly. The technology moves so quickly. Um, I was talking to my aunt, who's 93. What's up, Aunt Nellie? And uh, we were up in North Carolina for my sister's graduation um, from, from UNC. And we, I had asked her how amazing did she think this device I was holding in my hand mm-hmm. uh, because it, it can do so much. I said, what were phones like when you were our age? And she said, phones. Phones? Phone. Phones? What, I mean, a rotary dial phone, right? And it was uh, an issue. Yeah. I mean, no. no they, nope. they, they 93, actually, bro. They actually shared a, oh. they, they shared a phone with a collection of houses on the block, there was one phone, and the phone company installed <laughs> yeah. it, and you couldn't you couldn't uninstall it. You yeah. couldn't switch phones. You couldn't do anything to it. You had to use that the phone. The neighborhood phone. It was a neighborhood phone, and oh. you went and you shared the line. I mean, I'm Morse code, you know? That's pretty much. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. What's up? That's just said, Elon Musk, what's up? Uh, he probably got that, <laughs> but it was a uh, it was really cool to see just the advancement in the flow of yeah, technology, absolutely. and now Pretty to incredible. see it, to see it in our generation and to see it continue to move because like uh, I think there's uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of well pretty much everybody born after a certain date is in you know the the smartphone mm-hmm. like genre generation mm-hmm. uh, where they don't understand they don't know life without a smartphone they don't know life without a tablet they don't know they don't understand uh, that there was one time that if you wanted to call your friend. And you were over on the way over to his house. You you couldn't unless you stopped somewhere and took a quarter out of your pocket and used a payphone. A what? A payphone. Yeah. I then you had this phone book in the very bottom that was sling, swinging. You swing the phone book up and open it up, and you could like find their phone number and stuff. Yeah, those uh, guys from the UK told me that they didn't have those red booths anymore in Manchester, and he's like, it's kind of sad because they were like so iconic, you know. They, they tried, and, oh, yeah. and <laughs> that was a couple years ago. They actually tried. They had That's a petition right. going around. They were trying to Bring save f- save one oh, of them. Oh, save them. They wanted to save one yeah. of them because uh, they were just getting rid of them, and they are very iconic. Iconic, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know, I just watched a movie. It was made in 2019. Last night, I just made. I just watched it, and it had a payphone in it. And I'm watching the movie. I'm like, that is that is so outdated. Like, why is there a payphone <laughs> in this movie? I don't understand it. What movie was it? Uh, Angel Has Fallen. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. And it's wow. modern. Interesting. Like, what year was it? It sounds like a prequel. It, what? Angel, Angel Angel has fallen. Uh, it's a uh, it's uh it's in the series of London has fallen. There was Olymp- Olympus. Olympus has fallen. London, London has fallen. It's got fallen, Gerard yeah. Butler. Gerard Butler, so Morgan like, Freeman, yeah. the Umbrella um, really Academy. Good movie, by the way, they yeah, yeah. you notice they actively never had any cell phones in that whole show. Really, the first season. Yeah, I was I noticed it like halfway through the season. I'm like, like there's no cell phones. That's in crazy. This whole, it's like even though it's not trying to be a different like, yeah, yeah. like decade or anything, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just trying to be a different like paradigm. Imagine, where cell phones don't exist. Imagine Paul Revere with a cell phone. Yeah. Yo, b- the British are coming. <laughs> I mean, they're they're like calling on phones. Like no there's, midnight there's ride. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no run. The British are coming. The I British think it's are coming. Not as good of a story, right? I think yeah, it's kind of cool. Just have like a, a group chat. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. On the way, bro. <laughs> we grew up like when when the internet was came about. Like we know what life was like before the internet. Sure. And then and then and now to see it after yeah. is is pretty I, intense. Yeah, I know what it's like to go to a library intense. and do research for a paper and yep. use microfiche. Hated it. <laughs> crazy, crazy, and and to go through uh, the uh, Dewey's decimal system. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, I, I'm really buddy. mad at you that you reminded me of that. I don't know that. I no, know. Dewey's decimal that. system. That's okay. Oh, That's man. all right. You're a better person for it. Yeah, don't even worry about <laughs> it. We're not even going to talk about it. Okay. Well, uh, thank you guys for joining us, man. We are joined by Zach Cabral from Casador Studios, lead singer of Conflicting Motive, an amazing band right here in, uh, in Central Florida. They just had a show this past Monday at Soundbar. Uh, yes. Went really well. They got the call back because they kicked ass last time, and that's how you do it, baby. Uh, go there, put on a great show, make sure you're professional, and then that phone will ring. That's just how it works, and you keep the gigs coming. Speaking of gigs, we just opened the show up with number two, which was uh, – Smile My Love, that was your second place song coming in uh, at, at second place. Congratulations, Smile My Love. Yeah, baby. Um, if you ain't first, you're last. Uh, that's Ricky Bobby's dad. Take that to the bank. And we're going to move right on. This is our first place song. Give me a second. I'm going to grab uh, another cable real quick. I'm going to give it to the Commodore and Zach, and they're going to tell you about this incredible weekend they had full of tequila and pasties. How many shots pasties. of tequila did you have? I had 17 mm. in a matter of five hours. 17 shots? Yes, yes. I saw way more pasties. Oh, my gosh. Just kidding. I just made that up. <laughs> so thank you for joining us on this poll results so. show. It's a very exciting one because, you know, Zach's here. Thanks for joining us, Zach. You're welcome. We are actually uh, – Happy to be here, guys. One of the reasons Zach is here tonight is we are going to be going over some of the album that we recorded just recently. Uh, we got a couple songs that we recorded, and we're working we're working through the final final tapes and, and, and details of uh, getting those songs perfect – 
and then getting them uh, on 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 some sort of CD or I don't know electronical thing that you listen to music on. I don't know. I don't know how. Th- I don't know how that works. But uh, we're working on that it right after the show. So expect an album soon. It might even be in the next swag bag. Oh, snippity snap snap. Maybe. Maybe February's. Not sure yet. <laughs> that would be awesome. All right, let's see what we got here, kids. Thanks for uh, sharing some time with us. Let's see. All right, no buzz. And we got that. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for spending some time with us tonight. This is first place, baby. This is called Walking Man. I hope you guys dig it, man. Alone down a dusty road, we'll start that one over. That's all right. Oh, I'm in D. That's Zach's favorite letter. Is it? Raves and preaches Says I can do the most To make that a walking man Take off his walking clothes So boom, braves that stone Blowing ripples across the pond Blowing leaves attached from the bay trees Turning cypress to its knees In the end, my friend, begin alone down a dusty road half in the shadow of sunlight half in the Shines down that sun, coming ripples in the pond, growing leaves attached from bed trees, turning suppress to its knees. In the end, my friend, begin again. In the end, my friend, begin again. Whoa, no. So shines down that sun, coming ripples in the pond, growing leaves attached from bed trees, turning suppress to its knees. In the end, my friend. Alone. The sun he sits that storm down says, Listen here, my friend, to get that walking coat off, off of that walking man. You take a pinch of sunlight and you hold it in your hand, and you take a dash of true love, and toss it in the sand. Now close your eyes and make a wish, blow it from your hand, send that pinch of sunlight. Crashing to the land Where it lands a love and brings life With a whistle of white smoke We'll have a walking man Take all this walking coat So boom, braves that stone Coming ripples in the pond Growing leaves attached from bed trees Till it's a rest to its knees In the end, my friend, begin again In the end, my friend, begin Road. I'm in the shadow 
sunlight and hop in the glow. Yes. What's nice. up, everybody? That was fun. Reaver. What's up, everybody? Good to see you guys, and thank you for joining Jonah. And that's the night. My name is Billy Floyd, and that is That's Right Baby with a Kipsy Killers from Orlando, Florida, coming to you live. And give me a second, let me unplug this. Boop. There we go. We're going to plug Dr. Zachary Cabral back in. I just said that he's the doctor of the buttons, the button doctor. Yeah. yeah that's good. I like it. I'm going to hand this to you for a second. Thank you very much. I appreciate very much. All right, let's do that. Let me hand this to Billy. Zach, you ready to talk again? Give it a shot. There he is. You guys are engineers themselves. There he is. There he is. All right. All right. I didn't have to do anything. We do it all. Yeah, that's Great. it, man. You're done. You're in. Yeah. Why, mm-hmm. why isn't in. he doing that? Like that's a, that's what he he's does. He's the guest. He's the oh, guest. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, he's You're the guest. guest. Man. It's nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nice to have audio <laughs> done for me. <laughs> that's right. Right. Yeah, that. you don't have to do anything. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk again. That. Change that yeah, for yeah. me. Please Thank you so much. Yes, Canterbury. Please change that. Thank you very much. So Are you from Canterbury? That's right. Boom. Thank you, Canterbury. I do have to give a huge shout out to Eileen from Goalie's Gourmet Dog Chips. She joined us on Monday, which was really cool. Goalie, G O A L I, chips.com. You can go there and grab some really tasty stuff. It is 100% protein. There's no additives. It's super, super healthy for your pups. If you care about your pups, you'll go to goaliechips.com. If you don't care about your pups, don't go. If you don't want a, a mass on your yeah. pup's spleen, yeah. Get goalie's chips. That's right, man. Make sure you feed the pups the best thing that you can feed the pups. There's a lot of stuff in those big box stores that claim to be 100% this, 100% that. It's 100% bullshit. So make sure you go to goalie chips, G-O-A-L-I, <laughs> chips.com, and get some tasty stuff. Eileen was super sweet. We were so – I was really happy to have her on Monday. She was really cool. And she is just a wealth of knowledge, multiple languages, parks 42 to 52-foot oh yachts. Like a boss, and experiences baby. like she's been great experience. Many, she's, many, many, she, many, many, she's, many, many, she's many, performed in Italy. She's performed opera all around the world, which was absolutely incredible. What a what an amazing performer. She was extremely exciting. And we got to meet Lizzie, her little puppy, who was super refined. And I think Luke fell in love just a tiny little bit. Yep. Immediately. He, Luke kept looking for Lizzie after Lizzie and Eileen <laughs> left. He was like walking around the house like, uh, uh, hey, do you know where that really, really pretty girl was? Yeah. Do you know that she really was? healthy girl that, that eats really, all that healthy that eats food. all the goalie chips. Yeah, they are kind of tasty. <laughs> I mean, if you want to try one, let me know because I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't soaked it in barbecue sauce. We gotta Ooh, do that. Ooh, that's right. We're we should we should crumble it and put it on a baked potato. It's not a bad idea. Get out of here. throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, man. So thank you very much, Eileen, for joining us tonight uh, or joining us on Monday. We have Zach Cabral tonight. This Friday, we're heading to my man Kyle Deuce's house. Kyle is on the loose, baby. Kyle Deuce on the loose. He is, the, he is a co-creator of Happy Hour with Johnny and Deuce. That is uh, Johnny Womack and Kyle Deuce. Uh, huge shout-out to both those guys. Check out Happy Hour with Johnny and Deuce online on – I think they stream everything on uh, – what is it that they stream everything on? It is SoundCloud. They stream everything on SoundCloud, baby. Just go to Google. Look up Happy Hour Johnny and Deuce, they've done over 200 episodes. They've been working really, really hard at this for many, many years. They're very, very good friends, and they have one hell of a show. Uh, we're going to be there this Friday with the Mad Scientist and Josh Bauer, which I'm really excited for. And and Kyle says this is going to be an early, ugly Christmas sweater Christmas party. And if you all know anything about Kyle Deuce, this Friday's show is going to be an adventure. Kyle is a crazy man, and he fits in with our crew very, very well. If you're tuning in right now, I need you to tune in on Friday at 9.05. And just hang out with us and uh, Kyle Deuce. That's true, baby. That's true. It's gonna be. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah, man. It's it's gonna We're be gonna a good be time. I'm, I'm, lo- I'm looking forward to it. Kyle Deuce got great energy. Great dude. Uh, just really, really happy guy to be around. He reached out to me today just to inform me that he is very excited. Uh, about that sounds Friday. like him. So that's where we're going to be this Friday. Um, this this Saturday and Sunday is preparation for Cucina Cabana, uh, which is an amazing Italian restaurant in North Palm Beach. We will be there this coming Monday night. We'll be streaming live uh, from 7 to 9, doing a full feature on this incredible restaurant. Please go to their website, Cucina Cabana, C-U-C-I-N-A-C-A-B-A-N-A.com. Check out the food. Check out the location. It's absolutely beautiful. The location is beautiful. The restaurant is beautiful. Uh, the food looks spell absolutely that outstanding. I don't Were know. you reading it? You weren't reading it. C U C I N A C A B A N A. That I wow. Anyway. Moving on. Something like that. Cucina Cabana. <laughs> Cucina Cabana in North Palm Beach. Uh, so a huge shout out. Uh, we are really excited to go there this Monday. They're an incredible restaurant. And I, I think we're going to get to feature. I think we have a two-hour show. So I think we're trying to do three entrees, three appetizers, three desserts, three specialty drinks. And we get to create one of the drinks that night. 
which is really cool. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, so we're going to get to sit Sounds down like with a the Friday owners. Night show. Gonna, I know. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to be some phenomenal food that we'll be featuring from Cuchita Cabana this Monday, baby, uh, from nice. 7 to 9 p.m. We're really excited. That's in North Palm Beach. So we are hopping in the dreaded tour sled, and we are headed to South Florida, baby. Uh, that's going to be really cool. A huge shout-out to uh, Cuchita Cabana for having us, uh, to everybody for putting everything together. Thank you so much um, for the, the continued support. We're really excited. We've done a couple different restaurant features. We had Tatiana's. We did Sweet Magnolia's. We did Lakeland Barbecue. And now we get to add Cucina Cabana uh, to the list of restaurant features that the killers get to do. That's right, baby. And it's going to be good. I'm really looking forward to that. So make sure you check in this Monday. This Monday's weekly wrap-up. We're going to do our best to do our best to wrap it up on Monday. But we have a lot of food to get through on Monday. We have some amazing people to introduce you to, some amazing spokespeople. And we want to make sure we put the feature and the energy on the food and the restaurant itself. Uh, So we are going to be in, in. Uh, North Palm Beach, which is going to be super cool. I'm really excited to head down there. No pun intended. It's probably going to be pretty cool, like, you know, temperature-wise and awesome. And I like to travel as a team. It's just good times. <laughs> uh, so we're really excited, man. And thank you guys uh, for checking everything out. You can always find uh, all the cool stuff that we have going on at Facebook.com slash Kitchen Killers. Mm-hmm. By all means, check out our Instagram.com slash Kitchen Killers for all the up-to-date stories and behind-the-scenes photos and videos uh, of what is going on. We separate all the content to different media portals you know so you mm-hmm. get different mm-hmm. stuff on instagram mm-hmm. than you mm-hmm. get on twitter mm-hmm. you get different mm-hmm. stuff on facebook than you're going to get on patreon and by all means please head over to patreon.com slash kitchen killers and see what patreon. tiers we have offered that is how we are fueling this entire machine people have been asking and asking and begging and wishing and demanding a way uh to be able to invest and help the killers and not only do you get Here to invest is. through patreon but you get to receive uh, awesome rewards and treats sometimes on a weekly basis uh in this instance the weekly. killer content tier offers you a raffle you, we, we get your name in the raffle we pull it and this week reese peacock from ems mobile detailing won the swag bag baby which is really cool we're going to do this each month also the people on the kitchen killer or the killer content tier receive a private personalized recording of a kitchen killers original that is specifically geared and recorded for patreon you won't find it anywhere else no it's way only baby. on patreon that is baby baby through so sorry so s- not really not sorry not sorry kitchen killers are good at delivering things to you weekly you know, yeah, baby. We, br- we bring, consistent we bring you the content weekly. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Zach. I appreciate that. So we have made it to the point in the show. We're going to do a little flip the pick for you, baby. We're going to give it to the great Commodore. He's going to take one of those amazing Fender picks, which it looked like he almost he almost dropped Fender this past weekend because you were playing. What picks were you playing at the uh, show on Friday? It was the uh, the Hard Rock. Oh, the Hard Rock the picks? The Hard Rock picks. Oh. That were you, they good? I couldn't tell the difference. Really? Uh-oh, Fender. Uh, now, now, it's down to, now it's down to quality and price. Mm, no, no, no. I I still like my Fender picks. Still sticking with the Fenders. I like the pearl white. Yeah, it really is pretty. I d- that's and the gold. It's really I, cool. I, I like it's those not, hot pink it's dumb It's not loops. like I've tried a thousand different picks and like this is the best one, but this is the one that I, I always have. use. This and is the best one. <laughs> it's cool looking. Every so. guitarist has their favorite pick. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. yeah, I've been I've been I've been using uh, snarling dogs for a long time. They they used to be called cat tongues, mm. uh, and they have like a little a little grip on it. Oh. Um, so they went for to, to they went from cat tongues and then they they started calling them snarling dogs. Uh, now they're not even called snarling dogs anymore, but the same company <laughs> makes it. They like rebranded they just everything. Keep changing really? Yeah, they yeah they just keep they just keep changing the name all the time. Sna- same exact thing, but Dang. it's it just has this little because I have lost so many picks mm-hmm. while playing because it gets slip or it gets slick or you know you're you're working and there's a lot of light and everything's really hot and all of a sudden picks are just flying out of my hand yeah. and I'm like nah man I got. I tried doing the ones things. with the big rubber grips that one time sure. and that was terrible because like it I would I would like. Get the string sometimes on the oh, rubber grips, bang. and it just was like, yeah, it's not gonna work out. Not working out for yeah, me. Yeah, dude, I'm, I don't know how many styles of picks I've played with over my years, just yeah. trying to find one that I really kind of like stick with and I really enjoy. Yeah, I stick with the. Uh, I used Tortex for a while, for a long time. I used the powdered Tortex. They were pretty good. They're pretty good as well. Pretty good grip. I think I have to stick with like the point five millimeter Dunloops. Yeah, like the yeah, pink, Dun- Dunlop, Dunlop makes good stuff, man. Dunlop makes really good yeah. stuff. So, so we're gonna give it to the great Commodore. He's gonna do a little pick flip, baby. We're gonna find out if we got song number three on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Think I can make it in the swag bag? Well, yes. now you got to see if Atlanta Gold side up. I'm excited. Yep. All right. I did. And you know I what? Did. You get that pick. We'll leave it in the swag bag for you. Actually, I'll leave That's that to the in Commodore. There. Is that okay? That's staying in there. Boom, baby. You got it. Pick. We just. Uh, what else do we want to throw in there? That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, come here, Luke. In there. Luke. <laughs> I missed that one. You don't get that one. <laughs> so thank you guys so for sharing some up. time with us tonight. What do you want to do? Let's I don't l- know. let's let's do something that you uh, let. Zach, you s- you decide. Yeah, do you want to hear an original or cover? 
Oh, can I say a specific song? Yeah, what do you Any, want to hear? Anything, yeah. I want to hear June. June. Oh, okay. okay, we can do that. Yeah. I can do that. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Sweet. Let me change some stuff. BRB. Throwing out. So here. The tricks here. Oh, Thank you guys. Oh, oh. Well, you know. I'm just, I'm just retuning. That's all. I, I retune after every song anyway, so it doesn't matter. All the songs. So by special request from Mr. Zach Cabral of Castle Door Studios. Thank you so much. Um, the Flip the Pick has now garnered you a another song tonight. So thank you for tuning in with us. Thank you for staying staying with us, hanging out, listening to, listen to us jabber on about awesome things, and play songs. Can you turn, uh, Shelly, can you turn number two up to 12? Yep, perfect. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, there it is. I love it. Let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Let's see what we're doing. How, how, we, how we doing, kids? And uh, Commodore, when you're ready, you want to reverb us up? Doing, what do you got going over there? Is there a puppy down there somewhere? Nope. You drop a sock? There's a quarter-inch cable down there. Ooh, quarter-inch cable for you. Whack, whack, a doodle, baby. Oh, yeah, volume up on 4, uh, reverb up on 12 or 1130, wherever you want to do with it. 11, th- not 12, 1130. Crap, I need another pick. a story about a boy in West Virginia. He flew from California, met a sweet bright girl named June. They crossed lives one Saturday this past November at a party to remember. A good friend gone too soon. And as we, we gather here day to take the pain away to face another day without you I know we don't appreciate the time we have today to make life beautiful story about a girl from Indiana. She drove to West Virginia, met a sweet bright boy named Dean. They crossed lives one Saturday this past November at a party to remember. A good friend gone from me and as we we gather here Day to stave off the pain, to face another day. Without you, I know we don't appreciate the time we have today to make life.
as we we gather here today it's more than I can take to never see one day beside you I promise I'll appreciate the time I have today let's make life Beautiful. Yes. Song What's up, everybody? Beautiful. Good to see you guys tonight. Thank you guys for spending some time with us. My name is Billy Floyd, and that is... The Commodore. That's right, dudes. We are the Kitchen Killers from Orlando, Florida. We are joined, joined tonight by Zach Cabral from Casador Studios and the also the lead singer of Conflicting Motive, which is super cool. Give me a second. Boop. That's for you guys. Congratulations. Uh, hold on. This goes here. <laughs> this goes there. This goes here. I I'm like back. it like Zach. that. I like it like Zach is that. Back. Zach is back, baby. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us tonight. We most certainly appreciate it. It was uh, super cool. Thanks for joining us for the U-Pick 2. Oh, we thank you, also Lisa. did the swag bag <laughs> raffle. This was the very first one uh, from the Kitchen Killers Patreon tier killer content. So every month, and anybody that is a, a I, I would say, a tier content supporter uh, of the killer content tier on patreon.com slash kitchen killers is, is available to have their name entered into the swag bag raffle. Uh, this month, we gave away a t-shirt, some Lakeland barbecue rub, a Kitchen Killers koozie, a Bud Light koozie, a sticker. Uh, we also gave away a pick, which was a last minute edition. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And an album, uh, which is uh, five songs off The Arsonist, which is a solo album that I released uh, not that long ago. Uh, good times, man. Standard edition, five full band songs, baby. You might recognize some of them, and I hope you do. If you don't, that's okay. We still love you. Long time. <laughs> That's good. So thank you guys for sharing some time with us tonight. Zach, thanks for coming, my man. Really appreciate it. Did thanks you, for having me. Where are you going to be at? What do you got going on? Share it with the world. Uh, I'm going to be here in Orlando. I yeah. love it. <laughs> here he is. I'm in just Orlando, working. Baby. You sound so busy. Yeah. No, I'm working on you know individual mixes, and I'm working on um, the real big time consumer is working on my next album right now. So nice, dude. Got 11 track album coming out. Oh wow, Hopefully that's that's some full stuff right there. Yeah. We we got all the main parts laid out ready all the songs written and did all the drum tracking there's an ep so. and an lp what he's talking about i believe is an lp which LP. is long play there's extended mm. play and then there's long play and an ep is about five tracks an lp is anything six or greater i believe six or yeah. seven or greater so you're going lp dude you're we're doing going, you're going full album we're going full album and it's uh pulling out every stop we can we're trying to challenge ourselves on every song nice so. man well that's how you grow right i love limits. your i love your timings Oh, I yeah. love that you, you use the odd number timings. What up, Jamie? <laughs> makes me so happy. Good to see you, my dude. So thank you guys so much for joining us on this humpity hump day. We love your timings. We love your hair, too. We have to hair looks good. Hair's on point, my yeah. man. Oh, thank you. We don't it's get to see good. your hair often. No, no. It's, normally it's, you have well, a hat on. That hat up. This is yeah. very pleasant. Usually you're yeah. hatting up. I've been trying to get the hair a little shorter so it's not like actually manageable without the hat. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's what I do. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get on see, that See, my hair was really short for a long time in the military, and so now I had to like rebel against the short sure. hair for a while. And I, I don't gotcha. want that anymore. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. I'm yeah, going to try because I can. I, tr I had, I had this, this is my haircut like probably most of my life. Yeah. And then a couple of years ago, I just got lazy and didn't want to get a haircut. And my boss comes by my desk and he says, Jay, uh, looks like you're needing a haircut. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to cut it. Nope. Ever. And gonna because, keep it long, I'm a, because I'm a stubborn guy and I'm, I don't, I don't like no. paying for haircuts. I'm, I'm a pretty stubborn guy. Yeah. I don't believe so. I said to him, I'm not going to cut it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not cutting it. Ever. And I just decided to let it grow as long as I could possibly stand it. Yeah. And I made it a little over a year. It looked pretty wow. good, dude. A little over a year. I liked and it. And was, it was probably, what, what I thought it six, great. six, eight inches long? Yeah, it came down to his shoulders, man. It yeah. was nice. It's pretty long. Yeah. It was all right. No haircuts for like a year and a half. It looked good. It was ridiculous. It looked good. I had never seen the Commodore with hair that yeah. long before. Yeah, nobody had. It was crazy. It was really good, <laughs> Just man. Bummed it up. Yeah, it looked, yeah. It, it looked really nice. It was, it was, it was great. It was, it was good quality. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, it okay. was really smooth. I it thought you meant really like good, no man. shaving, nothing like this. Oh no. I I mean, year. I would still look no just cutting. like this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just not going to do anything anyway. 
<laughs> I hear you. That's awesome, man. Uh, thank you guys for joining us tonight. By all means, be sure you check us out. This Friday, we're going to be at Kyle Deuce's house. He is a co-creator of Happy Hour with Johnny and Deuce. We're going to be there this Friday. Come check not out my only, sweater. Not only, exactly. Not only with the great Commodore and myself. Shelly Wheeler will be there as well. We'll be with Kyle Deuce. We also have Jay Bauer. Josh Bauer will be joining us that night directly from uh, the Kitchen Kitchen Day Kyle. And we have the Mad Scientist in tow as well. Dennis will be mm. joining us this Friday. I'm excited to see what he's going to create. The last that time we were there. An, there's an awesome dessert on oh, deck. Oh, yeah. Always. Always. Absolutely. Yeah. That's one thing you can awesome definitely everything. count on when Dennis is involved. When the Mad Scientist is there, you know you're going to eat cake. Let them eat cake. Yeah. Goodness sake. Let's eat some Let's cake. Let's eat some cake. So I hope you guys have a really good day. Reese Peacock, look forward to receiving your swag bag soon, my man. And thank you very much for being a Kitchen Killers supporter. If you guys are looking for a way to support us, by all means, every dollar counts. The lowest tier we have is a $5 tier. Uh, please understand a month. how much that helps us. You can go to patreon.com slash kitchen killers. A $5 tier is huge. Uh, now, I'm not saying $5 isn't a lot to you, uh, but when you combine it together, it will allow us to grow and uh, evolutionize uh, what we do allow us to travel farther we've been streaming content for free for two years three shows every single week hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs and interviews and hours and hopefully laughs and some good experiences uh, so if you can find it in your heart and your wallet uh, to support us by a, a five dollar donation every single month and check out the other tiers there's other tiers up there as well if you want to uh, get some cool swag as well. bags yeah, man. Just, you know, we have a fifteen dollar tier. No. We have twenty five dollar tier, fifty dollar tier. Uh, we're working on a hundred dollar tier to get that up there because we have requested. Uh, we've had a couple people request for that that elemental tier, uh, which we're working really hard on. If you have any ideas for content that you would like to see involved in the tiers and on our Patreon page, please reach out to us and let us know. We can edit and update the content at all times. So by all means, if there's something in your mind you would really like to see, let us know what's going on, man, and that will most certainly be a cool challenge for us. We'd love to to talk. Talk about it and possibly even add it to the tier. So keep the information coming. And yes, we absolutely. have the power. Patreon. We have the power. I have the Patreon power. That's right, man. Patreon.com slash Kitchen Killers. It is a crowdfunding yeah. source and a website that allows us and other creators and contributors uh, to motivate and proliferate something that they believe in. I gave me something to believe in. I'm so happy that you guys are doing like Patreon. The Lord above. Makes me proud. Dude, you, were, oh. you, were, you, you really <laughs> helped with that. You were a big motivational yeah. factor. It was really nice. You kind of gave it's us good. the confidence to just get it out there and try it. And that's the best thing. And, and they do it with software. It release often, release early. Because you can can always beta test you can always change it and get it going and you can update it and you can you can watch it evolve but get it going pull the trigger make it happen launch the site put it up there and then grow as it grows and you can change it and you can kind of like you'll learn a lot as long as you just do it you do said it first. you said one of my favorite one of my favorite movie quotes and i think it might be one of your favorite movie uh -oh. quotes as well from, oh. from the movie contraband the with Mal with mark Wahlberg and giovanni ribisi if you've never seen it, it's a really great movie yeah, go yeah. check it out yeah and in the movie giovanni ribisi he says <laughs> pull the fucking trigger yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's very intense, that. like to do it, it, just do yeah. it, just do it. You know, uh, Shia LaBeouf a couple Shia. years ago, just, just, just do, it. do it. You take it, you find out what you want, and then you do it. That was it. That's it, man. That's how to do it. If you guys are looking for some motivation, let us know, and True. we'll do our best to motivate you. If you need some help, if you need some assistance, if you need some guidance, whatever we can do to help, by all means, reach out to us. We have an open line of communication on Facebook and Instagram and kitchenkillers at gmail.com. If you have any questions, any suggestions, any comments, uh, by all means, let us know. And thank you guys so much uh, for joining us on this week's You Pick 2 show. Uh, we were joined by Zach Cabral from Castle Door Studios, the lead singer of Conflicting Motive. Do you have any other shows booked that we can talk about? Um, I do have some uh, acoustic covers coming up. Oh, so nice! That, that's right, because you 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 also calendar. play acoustic gigs as well. Yeah, you travel around, you play songs, you entertain the masses, and get I them all singing. Sprinkle a few originals in there as well. Oh, you got know? to, yeah, oh. definitely got to do that, man. That that that's Let's what makes see. it that's what makes it worth it, right there, man. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, Zach is an accomplished musician. You can find him. Uh, you can look up Zachariah Cabral. Zachariah Cabral. Uh, follow him on Facebook. Also, Conflicting Motive is his full band. Uh, plus, he also has solo gigs where he travels around. And he plays cover gigs and, uh, as he said, sprinkles in some amazing originals. Yeah. So next week I got uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Oh mm. yeah, baby. Friday the Thirteenth. Where are you gonna be? That's gonna be at Public House at 10 p.m. Oh, that's awesome. Where's Public that House at? House near UCF off University. Not that far away from here. Not that far away from here. A couple minutes away, Public House, uh, right uh, off of University, right by UCF, right here in Orlando. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, man. That's a good gig. And then uh, following day, Saturday, I will be at Jimmy Hula's in Winter Park. Ooh, they so got good tacos, bro. Taco good fish tacos. That's what I'm there. talking about. Be there from uh, six to nine. 
<laughs> yeah, no, they really do have. They good really fish do. Tacos. They're delicious. Like, They're fish tacos. I, I'm, I'm, really I'm, I'm chuckling for a different reason. Oh. I don't totally, know. Totally, totally inside joke. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know what's happening. Sorry. Um, <laughs> an ellipsis brewing on the following Friday. Nice. Friday you guys know what an ellipsis mm-hmm. is. Dot dot dot. Hope yeah, you do. Now you do. You're welcome. Three dots. Did you say beer? Whatever. It is beer. It's mm. craft beer, and it's some of the best craft beer, beer in beer. Orlando. They That's right, baby. All sorts of Commodore delicious IPAs. Beer. Very true. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Have a wonderful evening. By all means, check us out this Friday from Kyle Deuces at 9.05, uh, which is going to be super cool, man. Uh, we really appreciate it. And by all means, uh, like and share this video if you liked it. And if you shared it, thank you very much. If you don't like it, that's okay. We forgive you, and we love you anyway, I think. Any last words, Commodore? Last words, baby. We'll see you Friday. That's right, baby. Check we'll out my talk ugly to you guys sweater. soon. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get Bye. really uncomfortably close. Wait, wait for it. Hold on. Oh. Oh my god, look at that.